When I was a senior at Lewis and Clark College, I had an independent study where I was working with a 13-year-old boy named Ben. He was really my introduction to the world of disability. I was working with him as a one-to-one -one aide. Within the fitness setting in the PE class, the expectation for him was lower and for no apparent reason. That was really my light bulb moment of seeing the need for something along the lines of specialty athletic training and led me to form the company in June of 2012. Here at Specialty Athletic Training, we provide personal training services exclusively for the disability community. So there's some things that we do differently here at Specialty Athletic Training. A lot of our clients have had a negative experience with fitness. For us, it's really about building that positive relationship with fitness and exercise and making it where it's an enjoyable experience for them. And so for us, it's all about building that relationship with our clients and with the groups that we work with. A lot of times they're overlooked, they're dismissed, they're kind of cast over. Building just the relationship piece with them, that's the part that we love. When Exceed First reached out to me about partnering with Specialty Athletic Training, the first thing that I did was check out their website to make sure that we had the same values and had the same mission and that everything was in alignment. The first thing that stood out to me was meeting people where they're at and giving them a choice. And that's something I firmly believe in, meeting all of our clients on their ability level and their interest level. Like all of us, uh, we didn't do much during COVID. And when we started getting folks back, everybody was pretty still. Very low confidence. They needed more. It was hard. So we came here, everybody loved it right away. The instructors are super cool. They've been really great also with working with our schedule. Our missions really align. We'll introduce the clients to a wide variety of exercises, opportunities to choose the exercise selections that they want to do, teaching them how to be able to do that and teaching them how to create their own workouts so they're able to do it outside of the gym and not just with us and giving them the power to do that. So we have a lot of clients that we do strictly body weight exercises with. They might not have the ability to grasp a dumbbell, but we can also get that same movement going on with the resistance span. They might be wheelchair bound, and so we might not be able to get them actually standing up, but how do we still target their legs? We'll do able some exercises that they can do with limited mobility, but at the same time strengthening the muscles and having a good time doing it. A lot of times you'll see us doing something along with them or holding the band, working with the client instead of just telling the client what to do. Try and create that independence, increase that self-confidence where they're able to do things independently. We're not doing anything adaptive, we're just meeting the clients where they are. This has boosted so much confidence and people look forward to coming on Thursdays. To see them really participate tells me that what is happening here is working. It's a bigger picture. Ultimately, the honest goal is not only for them to leave here and to feel stronger and more confident, but to also leave here and know that they're still welcome, wanted, and needed in the community.